Resource-based economics or RBE could be a way we resolve a lot of societal and socioeconomic problems. Peter Joseph of the Zeitgeist Movement and the author of the new book, The New Human Rights Movement, has outlined how this can work. First and foremost, a resource-based economy would have to take a look at the inefficiencies of the current capitalist, capitalistic system and take care of all of them. And you have close to a billion people not getting their nutrition met, and you have what in, in, by uh, Peter Edwards of Newcastle University put out what he called the ethical poverty line, which is based on lifespan, not the metrics put out by the UN. And when you use this ethical poverty line, you find that 60% of the world is actually in poverty. That is, is lunacy from an efficiency standpoint. No one can sit there and claim that this is an efficient system when that's the outcome on the social level. Now we can talk about the efficiency of a factory and you know, all the great fruits of technology that people will claim are associated with capitalism, which is nonsense too. It's our, it's our ability to design and, and our ingenuity through science and technology that's created this, not some weird mechanism that's attributed to capitalism. And what about food and waste? Uh, the waste is absolutely insane. You have 40 percent of all food being wasted because of inefficiencies in the distribution pipeline. Uh, which In order to increase efficiency, we'd have to look at what is technically right. What is the fastest, most ethical, and safest way to make the things we all need? And if we take account of the real things instead of the unicorns that our current economy is based on, we can allocate how much of a particular resource we really need. So sorry, mainstream rappers, it looks like your distractions of bling and spinning rims is now not only setting the black community from being empowered, but it's also making you look like an asshole. If we make the amount of things we actually need rather than saying we need to buy more and spend more and be in debt more, right? we'd have the uh, right amount of necessities and less poverty and starvation across the planet with this model. This also helps us learn self-control and it's a return to modesty. It's the literal lesson behind less is more instead of what followers of capitalism say it is. Well, you know, less is more because when you have less, you're actually like more rich than the guy that wants you to be in debt by buying more of his shit. You know, also listen to this rapper we sponsored. He's a, he's a big believer in Jesus because hypocrisy is fun. This also means that we'd focus on a steady state rather than a constant growth. Now, within the capitalistic system, when the market skyrocket, it comes back down. Over the next several decades, capitalism is going to have to adjust to survive. In the stock market, when a stock gets too high and then comes back down, they call that a correction. I see a great correction coming for capitalism. I think capitalism 100 years from now is not going to look anything like capitalism This today. proves that the only law that capitalism obeys is the law of gravity. But we wouldn't have to worry about stock market crashes if we built a system that was keeping steady. Proposing a system that's built on exponential growth, a math lesson that most Americans slept through, means that we're constantly a nervous wreck about when it's going to crash. And if we're not, then we learned nothing from the story of Icarus or physics class. It's like dating someone you know is out of your league, and instead of enjoying that relationship of someone that loves you for you, you're wondering about when they're going to leave you because of something that your mother and your entire middle school class said about an insecurity you have. So when they're toasting you at Christmas dinner, you have a paranoid outburst about how this is all a setup, and, and then you crash and burn. I, I am sorry for slapping your grandfather in the face, Janine. At the moment, I literally thought that he was the Marvel comic book's villain, Red Skull. This steady state would mean that we would be in a collaborative effort to maintain the system and make sure that everybody had the necessary resources to live a comfortable life. The way we live now is wrought with these childish thoughts of, well, they have more, so, so I should want more. Basically, if you want to start adulting, then we can start looking into collaborating for the sake of the species. 
If not, I guess we can just remain in the state of arrested development of greed-based capitalism.